Hey everyone, this is Ryan. In this video, we'll take a look at implementing up and down arrows in our app so that we can toggle through a gallery like this. So the first thing we want to do is apply a row number to each of the rows in our gallery. So to do this, we'll have to go to the gallery, items, and I already have this formula in place, so let me explain how it works. So we have to use the width um, formula or width function here. And what it will do is it'll grab all the contacts list into this property and we'll loop through the sequence of all the number of rows that we have. So we're counting all the rows in our contact list. So in this case, we have probably like 13 or something like that. So go through items one through 13. And what we're going to do is patch the value from the sequence, so through one, two, three, four, five, as a row number to the uh, another column in the table here. So one thing you'll, that you'll see, it says last first n of the contact list, the value. So what's happening here is we're grabbing the first n. So the n is the value in the sequence. So for example, if we're on Sequence number three, it'll grab the first three, three contacts in the list, and we're going to patch the last row that's available to us, and we'll apply the row number of three. So we'll do that for each of the rows. So it'll go through one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to the um, uppermost value that you have in your list. So that's how the row numbers are applied with this formula here. So once it's all applied, what we can do is take a look and see what that row number looks like. So from here, we will go and enter in row number. And here is the value. Okay, so we can see what it looks like. This does not need to be on the form, but it's good just to get an idea of, you know, what row numbers that you have in place here. So let's go and add a new icon to our screen. And we'll add the downward icon here. We'll adjust the size, I would say 25 by 25. And then from here, what we can do is we'll apply a formula to the on select property. So what we want to find out is what's the next row in line in our gallery. So to do that, what we will do is we'll update context and we'll set a value and we'll say next row. And what we're going to do is reference the gallery. So we'll say contact list dot selected dot row number. So that's that column that was added in the items property of our gallery. And from here, what we will do is add one. So we want to go to the next one. And then once that's done, we're going to select our gallery and what we will do is specify we're going to select row number let's say two in this case so when you close that down and we press play here you will see that it goes to the next row and all the data on the right automatically uh, data on the right automatically updates so we can go down, right down to the bottom, and we will hit an error when we hit the bottom here. So when we go down to the bottom and we click it one more time, you see an error appears at the top. It's because there's no number 14 row. So what we can do here is we go back to our properties of our on select. We can update this and actually put in an if condition here, just to say that if we're going, you know, we can only go to up to the max before it's not available. So we could say if, and then what we will do is we'll reference gallery contact list. And the great thing about this is we have an option here for all items count. So this is a new function available for galleries and it provides us the amount of uh, rows that are currently in a gallery. 
So to do that, what we need to do is ensure that we are less than this value. So what we will do is actually just copy this and we will say selected dot row number is less than that value there. So once we have this in place, we'll tab it over, close it up. So at this point, if I press Alt and I click on it again, there's no error. So that's great. We have that working at this point. So now what we want to do is we'll just copy and paste this. And all we will do is have the up arrow at this time. So for this, we can go to the icon and we can go to arrow up instead. And all we have to do is change around the formula slightly to allow it to go up. So to do that, for the row number, for it to go up, we want to say we want it to be above 1 in order to, to press that. So we'll add that, and then what we will do is reduce it by 1 each time it's selected. So if we go back and press play, and we go up, you'll see we're going up the row list. And you see I still have to scroll to go further up but we won't hit an error once we hit the top there, okay? Now what you can do is you could put in some, you know, disable the, the arrows if you're at the top or at the bottom. So to do that, um, if you go to either of these, so um, let's say this one here, we'll just copy the if condition here, and we'll go to the display mode. So what we will say is if Oh, all right, I had that in place here. If it's greater than one, it's available. Otherwise, it's disabled. So we'll say display mode disabled. Okay, so you'll see if we go back to here, it's currently disabled. If we go down, it's available. Okay, same thing for the bottom. What we can do here is if we're at the bottom, we can make that disappear. So what we can do here is if we go to the downward arrow here, we just have to copy this, go to the display mode, and then from here, what we'll say that is if the row number we're currently on is on the maximum, so we let the all items count, if they're the same, it will be, or actually we can actually say it's equals that, or if it's less than, it can go down. So we're actually fine with that condition there. And what we can say that's edited, we can edit it. Otherwise we can do display mode disabled. So if it's below, we're fine. If it's not, it's disabled. So if I click up, you'll see it's available. If I go down, it's not. So hopefully this you know, gives you an idea of how you can implement uh, up and down arrows uh, for your gallery so that users can just easily you know, toggle between them using uh, icons.